Hello friends. In the previous video, we saw how to provision a VM with Terraform. In this one, let's see how to update it. We're gonna change the network to which this VM is connected. But first, we need to create one. Let's say I wanna use a custom VPC instead. I should first add a resource block of type compute network, name it Terraform network. The difference between custom and default network is the number of subnetworks. By setting auto create subnetwork to false, we're using a custom network. To see the difference, head back to RCP console in the VPC network section. You'll notice that the default network creates 28 subnets all over the world automatically. This is too much and it will be deprecated soon and you'll have to explicitly create each one of them if needed. So let's create our subnetwork in US Central 1. As usual, after the resource keyword, add in the resource type, then give it a name. Also, choose an IP CIDR range for resources on this subnet, set region to US Central 1, and put it on the previously created network. Notice that we referenced it with the resource type and name we gave it. And don't forget the .id at the end. Back to the VM block, set network and subnetwork to the ones we just created. A resources self-link is a unique reference to that resource. We're using this to avoid typing out the self-link. Now back to the terminal. Run Terraform apply. It shows you the plan. And the plan is to add two resources and change one. Terraform shows which resources will be added and which one to change and how to change it. The network interface will be updated. Type in yes and give it a moment. Notice that Terraform knows in which order to provision and change resources. Even if the VM is declared first in the configuration file, it will create the network first, then the subnetwork, and finally update the VM without destroying it. On the GCP console, after refresh, you see a new network. Inside, you'll find the subnetwork within the IP range we choose. You can click for more details. Now let's check the VM. As you see, it is still updating. Now it's done. The VM is stopped for update, but it's still the same VM. Indeed, some changes update resources in place, and some others are destructive. The resource is destroyed, then you created with new parameters. To demonstrate this, let's change the boot image from Debian to Google Cloud Optimized OS. The one thing that differentiates two resources is the ID. Check it before and after deployment to see the difference. Back to the terminal, Terraform apply, and give it a moment to plan. There is one resource to add, one to destroy, no to change. And that's because it's a destructive change. The minus plus sign here means the compute instance will be destroyed and recreated. Now validate this plan and give it a moment. After a few seconds, take a look at your GCP console. After refreshing if needed, you'll see the VM being provisioned. Click on it and check the ID. It should be different from the previous one. So this concludes the video. We learned how to update a resource from the configuration file and that you should be careful when making changes. Sometimes the resource will be destroyed and anything on it will be lost forever. In the next one, we'll see how to use Terraform to destroy resources. Thank you for watching and see you soon.